continue our discussion on, of course, on Ukraine, first of all, uh, the state of play of sanctions, uh, the implementation of sanctions, coordination among member states, uh, and the impact uh, in short and mid-term uh, on our economies. Uh, I think it will be a new opportunity to show uh, unity and determination which is strongly needed uh, in the situation of the war uh, continuing uh, in these hours. Uh, we will also have two important uh, issues about uh, taxation uh, and uh, on the first on the proposal for the agreement, the global agreement on uh, minimal taxation, and second on this carbon border adjustment uh, mechanism. Um, I hope that this uh, meeting of ECOFIN will be the opportunity to make progress on both these files uh, because they are very important for the sustainability of our economy, the minimal taxation. We need uh, public resources in these times and because of uh, the sustainability challenge that we have so the carbon border mechanism will help not only to protect our industries but also to move forward uh, towards a global agreement which is needed on carbon pricing um, and so we will also support what we call a carbon club to uh, coordinate all the global initiatives in this direction. So I do hope that this meeting could give us some progress on both these important files. Commissioner, you call for unity. Where do you see differences among the member states in a response to the crisis? Well, there are, I think we, we showed that an impressive level of unity. Uh, honestly, I think that no one would have expected and maybe also uh, the Russian uh, leadership didn't expect such a unity among European member states. Maybe they were uh, counting on the possibility of uh, divisions, of uh, vetoing, of blocking sanctions and I think until now, and I'm sure we will strengthen this also today, the reaction was impressively a united one. What will, you, what will you do to ensure that the sanctions can't be bypassed? Well, there, there is a lot of activity. Um, of course, the, the activity is also coming from uh, central banks uh, about the risk of using cryptocurrency to bypass uh, sanctions. Um, in my portfolio, I'm, I'm working hard with the, uh, all the uh, customs uh, to coordinate uh, customs activity to avoid these things. But of course, we know that there is always a risk of bypassing sanctions, but the fact is that the Russian economy is strongly affected, the level of trade is uh, clearly diminished, uh, so sanctions are uh, operating. This doesn't mean, unfortunately, that they will change the course of the war uh, tomorrow. So we will insist, we will stay united, but Unfortunately, we have also to support our Ukrainian, the Ukrainian people delivering uh, arms to defend themselves uh, because economic sanctions are not alone able to change the course of the war. Excuse Thank you. Excuse me.